All right, so earlier today we got a message, or this was last night, sorry, from our friend Susan about some scrap at an estate sale that she was running. I think I said this earlier, but we are about to pull up and see there's two lawnmowers and it, like a, a roto tour, 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 tiller, a roto tiller. Does that make sense? Something like that. And then maybe a John Deere tractor, a small mini tractor, she said, if it's left. So we're gonna see what's here. And if we can fit it on the truck, we're just gonna take what, everything. If not, uh, we might need to come back for the tractor, but situations like this, you never know what's gonna be left because the sale was running all day up until one. So it's 1.30 right now, almost. all this stuff apart and sell it i'd scrap it they give you money at the scrap yard and then certain things i'll sell on craigslist or okay it depends really how bad a shape it's in i mean smells like this thing how's that it doesn't run this was leaking see you know how you prime it with this little yeah 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 that was leaking that's it okay well i have a guy that does some work for uh, me the too, other so. lawnmowers i don't know that uh, blew up so I mean that's scrap as far as I know that was a, like a $1,500 rototiller. Yeah, so expensive. It's Honda too, huh? Yeah. It's a good brand. So uh, all the lawnmowers you would take? Yeah, everything that's metal. Yeah, any, anything. Shells, whatever? Yeah, everything. I, I put all that metal out there. Yeah, that's me. perfect. All right, I don't think those shells. I don't know if there's anything else left in here. You can look though. Take okay, what you yeah, want. That's you perfect. actually take what the hell you want. You're really perfect, perfect. Because you're gonna oh the barbecue? Yeah, I'll take it. Okay. For sure. Alright. The metal uh fence thing. Whatever you want. I'm just, just gonna start loading it up and then I guess we'll plan are you gonna be around tomorrow, you said, maybe? What time's best? Probably the morning because right. I, I go to work at uh one o'clock in the afternoon. That's fine. So what time like all right, so it's looking like this is a pretty, pretty big connection. Um, I just started rolling on the camera. Don't know what I got or not. Didn't want him to feel awkward about me filming, so I just kind of just filmed from where I was standing. But he's given me three lawnmowers, um, a leaf sucker upper. Pretty much just I'll show you guys right now. All this stuff, all this metal, this thing. Um, Honda and all this everything that I can take he said I, I can have so this is a huge huge show up blow up situation very cool actually A lot of this stuff's gonna end up just straight scrap, but that is fine with me. Still, money. This thing. Is so all right. So what I'm gonna do is just start loading up all this stuff. Probably put the three mowers and that in to start and then we'll see where we can go from there. What's this guy? The big dog. How is that leaf cleaner upper? Is that scrap life in your eyes? Yeah, this is scrap. <laughs> you was talking about it being working, and I was just laughing in my head. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no, nope. This thing was straight killer. All killer, all killer, no filler, this piece, dude. Dude, this thing, this thing might be sellable to someone now. Like who does this kind of stuff. You know what I mean? 
Petrilla in Mozilla. <laughs> you got your gloves on? Got my new gloves. You're going to ruin your Frenchies in the first day. That's why you buy gloves and ruin them. <laughs> Woo boy. Get on it, brother. Look at that. <laughs> Are you or what? You are. What is it? What is it? What is it? <laughs> he was telling me to fix it. Yeah, he was telling me to fix it. That's how funny that is. Part of the, didn't realize that was part of the dream, that part. This thing's not even. Oh, you about that weight? <laughs> Like get it like you on that side, me on this side, you know? <laughs> you got all the weight. How did that work? <laughs> I don't killing. know. <laughs> this is all killing that fella. You know what I mean? Well, that's why you gotta be careful. <laughs> All Tilla, no filla. All Tiller, zero filler. What's this? <laughs> what the hell are you guys talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Little mini scrap load right here. Good Couldn't have done it with that, you, Paul. You would have been fine. You think this is a decent load? It's all right. You've seen that. You've done better. Yeah, I've I've, I've brought better. <laughs> <laughs> I found this for Tuck. It says Turner. Just gotta wash it. That's all. Dude, it's nice and furry. It's really, though, really nice though. John Walty Athletic Supplies. So dollar. And then I got this Tinkerbell costume. Mm-hmm. All right, let's roll out of here. Oh wait, those oh, wait. people are parked us in, Paul. Oh wait, we can't. All right, good morning everyone. Welcome to another beautiful day in paradise. Look at this winter wonderland out here. This is coming down. It's so nice feeling. Today, first line of business, we're about to take this scrap load and then go over and get load number two from the same house. So about to go to the scrap yard right now. Start off the day right with some scrap life. Woo. It's really crazy out here though. All right, cruising into the scrap yard. This isn't closed, is it? Oh shit, is it? Damn, if it is. Why do you close the scales on? It's because of this thing right here. Look at this place. This looks like a work of art in the snow. All right, about to back it up here. About to back it up into this pile here. Get this stuff. Get this stuff out of the truck. Make room for some more dream claims. Oh, it has boots on. Woo. Yeah, you're a big girl today. Oh, big girl. Big girl today. Scrap claims. Gonna some gloves, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Get that scrap out of here. In the truck. Big deal. Ah. Scrap light. Gonna be a decent load here. I want to help. You did. Mm. Just make sure my ring doesn't pop off. Where's the plastic? Everything. Oh, 
That is aluminum. Problem with the problem with the aluminum is that it's just got to be so clean, or it's less money than the light iron. So it's pointless. Like you'd have to sit here and strip down all this. Push that tiller out of here. Whoa. Whoa. These are supposed to be snow boots and they are not. They're snow boots, but they're lies. On, on wet metal, they're not very. Are you sleeking? I need salt. It's like a sled. No, oh, dude, if I like just like, <laughs> like if I Let me pull this. it out then, dude. <laughs> Try to do big girl things and avoid the gloves. See that? It looks like stainless, but mm -hmm. it's not. This one, you think you got a fresh piece of stainless? Look how ruined this tiller is, though. They got their use out of it, right? bad days at the scrapyard. All right, no bad days at the scrapyard, I claim. Uh, $47.50 for the first load. We're about to go pick up load number deuce in Galloway. Okay, <laughs> this. We might not even need the trailer. And then tonight, later, my brother's got a house that he bought. Maybe. He's settling today, I think. And there's a whole house full of appliances of scrap. Fridge, washer, dryer, dishwasher, everything so we'll go see that later on uh, we just pulled up to the estate that we're in the process of scrapping out uh, yesterday we did a load and today we're doing the other load looks like someone was in here today but there's still a mower right here um, this shelf and all this stuff we got a little bit of knickknacks here some tools and stuff and then a grill up on the porch and pretty much anything in the shed he said can just go to and there's a lot of exercise equipment in the garage so we're gonna I think easily be able to just get everything today and just stack it in the truck bed and get it out of here but uh, we were gonna bring the trailer but in the snow and everything it just it was counterproductive uh, if we somehow had to stop fast or couldn't stop just not really about that danger life for no reason especially when we don't really need it 
Yeah, we're gonna need the trailer later, I think, for the other job. But yeah, here we are. Scrapping it out in the snow. It's actually really beautiful out, but I think I'm just gonna pull my truck back here first. I wanted to put Yeah, we don't need it. Hope oh, he's in there. No, we'll be able to fit it. There's not that much. I think. I all right, so we just went ham and just unloaded the whole garage into here. All that, yeah. That whole box. So he's saying take these too. These are sanders. These might be decent for the flea market. We've sold them before. Yeah, we sold these for three dollars. Look at the price on there. What do you mean? You want to make another trip another day or what? Uh, well, what is there? Just the shelf? The shelf and this. I had that other power washer over there if you want it. That we can fit in here. I think we can get it all. Or if you want. It's I up can to put you. The very last of it out to the curb and just pick it up later today. It's up to you. <laughs> Tim last night he said, hey. So this is how this turned out perfectly. Now he's going to give us a little tour and see if there's anything else we want. The dining room set still here, the bedroom sets. Stuff? Yeah. You want it? Take yeah, it. Take, I'll take it's it now. This, I'm going to get the most over. Do you ever use the speakers? These were over at my house, and the, she said, "Oh, bring them over. They'll go." And they didn't go. That's uh, a hard, hard, hard sell yeah, on the speakers. Well, I mean, the electronics are all that. These old printers and that this stuff here, I guess. Does this thing work? The dual? What is it? I have no idea. Is this stuff going? Or yeah, you can I'll take all the like this stack. Okay. Like I said, all I'm just throw it out. I mean, I'm gonna get this one here to take the glassware and all that stuff. Oh, air conditioner. Okay. The AC unit for scrap. There's another. It says here. VCR. Yeah, take it. At least I can scrap it at the end of the day if I don't sell it. Flashlights. So you don't want those flashlights, right? No. Damn. There's a lot of stuff left. How about this thing? Well, you can have it. This stuff here, I think we're going to donate to you. Okay, old people yeah, stuff. smart. Yeah. Old yeah, whatever it is. You want the phones? I don't care. No. Yeah. All right. This is a neat room in here, though. New Jersey State Police, 1990. That's a vintage right there. Huh? That's a vintage police sweatshirt right there. 1990. Alright, so we're taking this stuff. This is a Beta Max VCR. Yo. Yeah. yeah? You realize what this is? No. It's a Beta Max player. Oh my god, I have a few Beta Max that I can play in there. <laughs> the never ending story. <laughs> Oh my God, we have the never ending story one? Oh, beta max, baby. <laughs> Get that popcorn cereal. Get the popcorn popcorn. Uh oh.
good. All right, so we're getting like tons of electronics along with this huge scrap load that we're tying down. All right, so our estate, estate scrap out that we were doing turned into them just trying to get rid of everything. And they, need, they sold the house already, so they need to get it all out of there. So they gave us free reign of the house. We got a bunch of electronics, a Betamax player, which is pretty awesome. And we're gonna go back and get more scrap and whatever else that we can, can, can get that they wanna get out of there. Um, it's kind of a, a crazy situation where they just want everything gone, so. Should just go back after this literally. At the scrap yard now, though. Again, second turn today. Second scrap dream today. Got to unload this obnoxious load that we got out back. Out of the way. Good thing I tied it around that, because that thing would have just flew off for the boy. Maybe, maybe not. I gotta get those. Oh, your hand okay? Yeah. <laughs> this is Watch your So we just got home from that little clean out we were doing. We got a Kodomatic instant camera, Kodak Polaroid camera. Obviously it's not a Polaroid camera because it's a Kodak, but I never really saw one like this before, ever. So I figured this is pretty cool. And I think probably the biggest score was this Betamax player, which we're gonna set up and try out. You know, it later on, but I'm gonna bring this thing in right now. Right, we got this beast, which I couldn't bring myself to scratch. It's a radio saw from Sears. And it came on top of this big food chest. I'm gonna put to offer up right now at Craigslist. This thing we got for free. The lady said that you could sell it for 300, but I just don't see that happening. Locally here, there's not a huge market for older power tools like this. I think more likely we'd sell it for maybe 100. But if we could get 100 for this, the Betamax player, I just looked up the exact model, and four of them sold in the last couple months on eBay for over 100. So I think that's worth a hundred or close to it anyway. And then the scrap was a hundred almost. So not a bad clean out. And we got other knickknacks and other stuff. I'm gonna pull this back and take some pictures of it.
All right, so this is the other stuff that we scored from the house. The Technics. I don't even know what this is. Channel. Preset machine. So you can just click on and then it goes to your channels. I think that's in the remote nowadays. This is old school. A DVD player. A Technics. What is this? A monitor. This is like where everything's hooked up. VCR, tape, CD, tuner. And you got all your bouncing for like your bass, treble. A dual cassette player. I showed this already. Kodak instant camera. Channel master. Uh, tape recorder, I guess. And all that stuff. So you always got to keep an open mind and be open to opportunities and situations because the first time that I talked to her on Facebook actually about this job, it was a few mowers, two lawn mowers. And then it turned into all that scrap and all this stuff. And there's another load out there um, that's waiting for us to pick up probably tomorrow. But just be a yes man in life and just always go for situations even if you don't know if they're going to work out because a lot of the time when people are getting rid of junk, getting rid of stuff, uh, you end up with more than you expected. And there's a there's few times when you don't get anything uh, where you get less than you expected, but it's worth it in the long run because you make connections and people always know you as the junk man around town. Um, it's kind of cool because I love junk. And we got the Betamax player, which I'm stoked about. We're going to watch a movie on it tonight, hopefully. But I do think that we have a serious passion for jonking and picking. And we actually might even just go to Goodwill later today in a little bit. So it's something we love. And it's something we can make money doing. So the dream continues every day. Phew!